Okay, so you've downloaded Register360 and you want to know what settings you have or need to change to get the most out of your equipment. That's what this week's Hump Day Quickie is about. We're going to show you the best settings that you can change or not change to get the most out of Register360. Let's get into it. So here we are inside of Register360 Plus. The first thing you're going to want to do to change your settings is find your settings. So right above where it says import on the top left of your screen there, you see a gear looking icon. That's what we want to click on. Perfect. So the first thing we're going to see is a general. These, these are just your basic ones. Now, if you're using a, if you're using a BLK to go, I highly recommend using the re-observation and then I will essentially run it through its loop twice and and find the best fit for the cloud. Uh, I've, I've seen a considerable difference between using it and not using it. I played around with the import performance. Uh, it's not that much of a difference, but I always feel a lot safer leaving it unbalanced. The, the fast always runs the risk of a crash. And this, these programs are already pushing our computers to pretty much the limits anyway, so we don't want to take it further. Uh, down below that is the pano image. If you really, really, really want just beautiful colored point clouds, 5K is an option for the RTC. However, it really increases your import time. I personally like to choose a 2048 option. I find that's a good uh, balance between still being able to colorize the point cloud well and still the import speed doesn't get harmed too much. So, and the next tab is links. Now you don't have to change the max target error. I will say though that if you're one of those people that does the bare minimum and has to bring in three targets, or only, only has three targets out there, and one of those is off greater than this, you're only gonna end up with two targets until you change that, that target error. So it doesn't hurt anything to bump that up and have it find targets that are, are outside of, of that error. Um, calculations. Uh, that way you can at least figure out what's going on and where the problem is. If you can only find two targets, it doesn't give you any information as to why there's not a third target, even though you know it's there. The other one that's not checked when you bring it in is allow link creation between sitemaps of imported areas. Now if you're bringing in scans from multiple days and you know that they're going to go together on one sitemap anyways, check that on and it will create links between the two sitemaps automatically, or it will run the cloud to cloud as preferred. There we go, there's a couple of basic settings you can check just to make sure you're running at, at a good level for, for Register360+. Plus. Um, if there's any other settings that you guys use regularly, feel free to, to throw them down below so other people can, can learn about them. Uh, until next time, see ya.